Let's see how to do mental math for multiplication and division. Let's start with multiplication. The first thing is split, multiply and combine. Let's take an example. Say you want to multiply 43 by 3. So what we do is we split 43 as 40 and 3. So we multiply 40 and 3 separately by 3. 40 threes are 120 because 4 threes are 12 and 3 threes are 9. Once the multiplication is done, let's combine the results. So we get 120 plus 9 is equal to 129. So our product is 129. Let's take another example. Multiply 48 by 6. Now one way to split 48 is 40 and 8. But there is another way also because 48 is closer to 50. So I can write 48 as 50 minus 2. So this is the way I split it 50 and 2. Let's multiply both the numbers by 6. 56 are 300 because 5 6 are 30 and 2 6 are 12. Now when you combine you have to subtract. So 300 minus 12 gives me 288. So my product is 288. So when you split, just think what is more convenient. Whatever is easier, you split it that way. Let's look at division. Again the method is same. Split, divide and combine. So the example here is divide 162 by 6. Now how to split 162? Can I split it as 160 and 2? I won't split it like that. Why? Because 160 is not divisible by 6. How do I know that? If you look at 160, the sum of the digits is 6 plus 1 is equal to 7. And 7 is not divisible by 3. So the number is not divisible by 3, that means it, it won't be divisible by 6. So instead of splitting it as 160 and 2, let's split it as 150 and 12. You can see that 150 is divisible by 6 and 12 is also divisible by 6. So let's divide both these numbers by 6. Uh, 25, 6 are 150 and 2, 6 are 12. So our answers are 25 and 2. Let's combine. 25 plus 2 is equal to 27. That means the answer is 27. Let's take one more example. Divide 686 by 7. Now think of a number that is divisible by 7 and something easy to think of. And that is 700. So let's split 686 as 700 and 14. Because 700 minus 14 would be 686. Divide both the numbers by 7. So our answers are 100 and 2. Let's combine. This time we need to subtract 2 from 100. So our answer is 98. So in case of division, when you split the number, be careful. You consider the divisibility of the numbers that you get after splitting. Now the next thing we are going to see is how to divide by 4. It's a special case. There is a different way to divide by 4. When you want to divide by 4, the rule here is half it and half it again. Let's take an example and see. Suppose you want to divide 140 by 4. So take 140 and half it. So you get 70. Now half it again. So you get 35. That means 140 divided by 4 is equal to 35. Let's take another example. Divide 50 by 4. Again, half it. So we get 25. Half it again. Now in this case, when you half 25, you will get 12 and half or 12.5. The answer is a decimal number. And which is fine. You can get a decimal number too. So the answer is 12.5. Let's take another example. 
divide 30 by 4. When you half 30, you get 15 and half it again. So you get 7 and half or 